This is me on my balcony. I've now finished the first semester at the Guildley College of Divinity here in Chiang Mai in Thailand. So it's perhaps a time to take stock on what I've been doing. I've, um, I've enjoyed my courses, Old Testament, New Testament, church history, uh, church music, which was particularly good. And this coming semester, instead of Greek, I'll be studying Hebrew. Meanwhile, I'm trying to find out what does God want me to do while I'm in Chiang Mai. The course is good and I'm enjoying it, but I'm sure there's a lot more I could do. Um, and I'm thinking there is really a need for a church which welcomes everybody. And at the moment, there seems to be very evangelical, charismatic sort of churches, or there's a Catholic church which I've been going along to and is, is perhaps more liberal and more friendly, surprisingly enough. But um, there still seems to be nowhere which falls into that sort of middle ground where a lot of people would be happy to come. So that's what I'm thinking about. Some of the other students at the seminary said they might like to assist me in that, so that's a possibility. And I'm also thinking about, well, what will happen about ordination? How can I go forward from that? In three years' time, two and a half in fact now, I will have finished my studying. Um, but how, what is the next step? Is ordination the right way? I, I believe it is, and I have to think, how is that going to happen? How is that possible? Meanwhile, I'm here in Chiang Mai. It's a beautiful place. I'm starting to get to know people, not just in the seminary, but other expats. Um, some through the Thai course I'm doing. At the moment, I'm doing intensive Thai every morning, three hours a day. And I've got to meet two or three new people through that. And also, through another social group, I've got to know some different people. So, that's great. I'm starting to get to know more of the expat community in Thailand, as well as the Thai community. Of course, my Thai, my spoken Thai, is very poor. Even though I've done two weeks, I'm still really struggling. It's a very difficult language. It's a, it's a tonal language. So instead of just counting one, two, three, four, five, you say mm -hmm. and you have to get the tones right. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense to uh, most Thai people when you're trying to speak the language. And also, the vowel sounds and consonants are very difficult. But I suppose I will get there in the end. Anyway, I thought I'd just do this. Um, it's been a great term, great semester so far. It's finished and I have another semester to go, which will finish next uh, March. And then April, May will be the vacation. So I'm hoping to be back in the UK and, and passing through Egypt on the way there. But um, I think that's all I have to say at the moment. Um, it's a fairly nice day. We've had some sunny days, we've had some cloudy days, we've had some rainy days. but Today is a little bit cloudy, but it's still very warm. It's uh, about basically 31 degrees out here on the balcony. So I'm still using the air conditioning at night. Uh, Thailand seems to be a country which is warm all year, which, which is something I like. And, uh, it's a very comfortable place to live. A lot of people retire here. Uh, a lot of people start businesses here. There's supposed to be as many as 40,000 expats living in Chiang Mai, which isn't a huge city. Um, I've now got a bicycle which means I can cycle around and I can basically get to most places in the city certainly within half an hour. Going into the main campus for Thai classes takes about 50 minutes in the morning. Going over down to the church takes about 50 minutes on a Sunday. It's an easy place to get around with a bike so uh, that's making things a lot easier here. Although I'm trying to do the big shop at the supermarket and then bring everything back balanced on the handlebars so it's all bit more difficult. But no, everything's fine here. I'm really enjoying being here. Missing my friends from Egypt, although I can talk to them a lot on Skype. So if you're if you're on Skype, give me a call or just give me a call anyway to my UK number, which is listed on the blog and on the um, on the email. But it's it's good being here and I'm making new friends slowly. Of course they're new friends, which is not the same as old friends, but nevertheless it's I'm sure I'm where God wants me to be. I'm sure he's got plans of what he wants me to do next. Um, it's an exciting place to be. It's an interesting place to be. There are so many things which are different here from Egypt. It's still a family-oriented place in some ways, but in other ways there are many, many things which are, which are different here and which provide an interesting challenge. So I'm sure God has a purpose. I know God has a purpose for being here. I came here in the most amazing way as as most people know, that within three weeks of applying, I was on the plane. I've been not really expected to be back in Thailand for a long time. And here I am. So it's the place I'm meant to be, and 
And I think there's exciting things that are going to be happening over this next year also. So please get in touch. It's always great to hear from people. The more I hear from people, the more support I feel. Players are immensely valued. And just thank you for all the prayers and thoughts and messages that people have always sent. So God bless and thanks for that.